On today's Tech Help for Churches, working with Twitter cards. Hi, and welcome again to another episode of Tech Help for Churches. This is the show where every week I help you by using new media, social media, etc. for your church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford, and I'm your host. I'd love for you to ask your questions, by the way, so just leave them below the video. Now, if you're busy doing something else, and so you're listening to the audio podcast, which is a great way to consume this information, then by all means, head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash THFC for Tech Help for Churches. And there you can leave your comment on a recent episode, maybe even this one. So let's get started talking about Twitter cards. Now, as you may recall, I've written a book on Twitter. Uh, it was my second book called Tweeting Church. And since that time, Twitter's made a lot of changes, and one of them is cards. So let's real quick talk about the different types of cards, and then we'll go on from there. First off, you have four main types of cards. There used to be others, but they've phased those all out. So you have the summary card, which has a small image, summary card with the large image, which has a large image, you might have guessed from the name, um, the app card, which you use if you want to get people to download your app. Churches typically wouldn't use that, but some churches do have apps. My church has one. Other churches do, but it's not as common. And finally, player cards. Now, if you were uh, paying attention to the YouTube series that I had very recently, um, the easiest way to get a player card is just linked to the YouTube video. So I think I talked about that earlier. Um, but there are other ways to do it. So that's the very first thing I wanted you to know, the four types of cards. But the second thing you should know is how to get a card from your website. Now, from YouTube, really simple, just put in the YouTube link. From your own website, so if you want your church's website to generate cards, well, the first thing you need to do is there's some code that you get from Twitter that you put into the header of your website. There are a couple of ways to do this. Um, probably the easiest way is if you have WordPress as the back end of your website, there are a few uh, different plugins that can do that. So you can um, add something that uses a remarketing code. So if you have a plugin that does that, that's a good way to do it. Uh, if you have uh, something like the Yoast SEO plugin, it, under social, it will do it. That's actually what I'm using right now. If you're doing podcasting, which look way back, uh, I did a series on that, then the Blueberry PowerPress plugin has an additional plugin that will create the player card. So you can do that as well. There are also a couple of other ways to do it. Now, if your website is static, you can just have your coder, whoever that is, put that code in the top. Uh, if, if you're using another system, there might be ways to interject additional codes like you would for the Google tracking, stuff like that. So that's the way to do that. But to get that code, what I would uh, advise you to do is go to dev.twitter.com slash cards. And there, it'll take you through the steps. If you've got one of these plugins and you're running Word, WordPress, you're done. Just turn it on and you're done. Um, if you have to put in that code manually, get it from there. Next thing that you need to do is you need to run the validator. So again, at dev.twitter.com slash cards, there's a validator, and you just put in a link from your website into that validator, and what I expect to happen is it's going to say, oh, I found the code here, but you're not allowed to run it. No problem. They're just saying they don't know who you are, and they want to check on that. So 
what you want to do is you want to, from that point, um, request approval. So that's the fifth step. Number one, decide the card you want. Number two, uh, put the meta information in your header. Number three, go to dev.twitter.com slash cards. Number four, run the val validator from there. Number five, request approval. So that's really a pretty simple way to do it. There are some gotchas though. So first off, make sure you don't have multiple plugins doing these cards. This is a problem that I ran into personally, and it turned out that, I feel kind of silly, um, I didn't see it initially when I first set this up, so I tried it a different way. Then that didn't work, so I tried it a different way. So actually I ended up having the code for three or four different ways of adding this in, and one way was I was just trying to see if it worked, and I had some wrong information, and of course that's the one it picks up. I had a misspelling under my Twitter handle, I just all kinds of stuff. Thought I would do it real quick, then forgot about it. Months later, I come back to do the research for this particular topic, and I find, oh, that's still in there. Well, it's not the Twitter plugin that did it. It's not Yoast by SEO. It's not the Blueberry PowerPress Player plugin. What is it? Well, it was my remarketing code plugin. So I had to really weed through all these to find which one was the cause. Once I did that, I was able to remove that code. That was good. But all my old cards still were showing up because what Twitter does is they generate the card one time and then every time you tweet out that link it uses the same card. So in order to change this, and this is something else I learned, you have to send it through a different URL. Now with when you're doing that with WordPress you've got a short link URL and then your regular URL, you try the short link it'll do a different URL. If that's not the case, one thing that they recommended, and this absolutely works fine, is going through bit.ly, bit.ly or bit.ly.com, and you can do it that way. So you do that and then it regenerates the code. So that's something else for you to remember if, as you're doing this, the Twitter cards get off because you got a new plugin that pulls data from the wrong place or, or something like that, then you can uh, do it this way. So those are just some of the things about the Twitter card. I will say one thing about the player card. Now the player card is, so far it's the hardest one to get to work, and that's because Twitter is requiring a secure server to do this and host the information. Well, as it turns out, um, I'm not getting the video or the audio for my podcast from a secure server. So I've got to figure that out more, but that's the thing keeping my player card from working. So as a temporary bypass, I can go through the YouTube card, or I can just use the player card with the large image, which is what I'm doing. So go to my Twitter account, twitter.com slash Paul Allen Cliff, that's P-A-U-L-A-L-A-N-C-L-I-F, and you can see all the links that I tweet there, they're all Twitter cards. You'll see view summary, you click on that, you see the beautiful large image. Some of the older ones had kind of default images, and since probably a year ago I started changing to more interesting images, so if the first one looks a little boring, try a couple, you'll see more. If you like this content, I bet you'd like my email newsletter, so head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S. You'd also like my store, so head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash store. And the thing I'm most excited about, and I've just today gotten um, an idea to improve it even further with transcripts. I was using kind of some kludgy methods, but 
I found a service that's spot on with the transcripts. I did an episode of Thursday's show, which will release this Thursday, and they had one mistake in it. And that one mistake was a typo. They typed he instead of the. So very spot on. So good stuff. And that'll be available at churchtechu.com. That's C-H-U-R-C-H-T-E-C-H-U.com. That's the letter U, short for university. So if that's something that appeals to you, head over there. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Go out and change eternity.